In this guitar lesson, we'll work on some fingerstyle guitar that's inspired by the song called The Devil Wears a Suit and Tie by Coulter Wall. So I just played a sample of the main progression that we're going to work on first. And after we learn this main progression, then I'll show you some other little riffs in the style of Coulter Wall. And near the end of the lesson, we'll kind of piece everything together so you have more of a complete arrangement that you can play from start to finish, just to give you something fun to practice. So uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get started here. We'll pull up the guitar tablature on the screen, work through this main progression first, one line at a time, and I'll give you some really good tips for your finger style guitar. So to play this, you gotta put your capo on the second fret. So go ahead and pause the video if you need to go find your capo. Get right there on the second fret. And also, you probably noticed that I'm using a thumb pick in this lesson. Coulter Wall, he actually uses no pick at all and just uses his fingers. I'm using a thumb pick here. I think it sounds really nice with the thumb pick, but up to you. You can play it with uh, no thumb pick and just your fingers. Both will work great for this lesson. All right, so uh, as we're working through this first line of the tablature, keep in mind that for most of this, and actually for most of this arrangement, we're going to keep our thumb going back and forth on some alternating bass line notes. And right here, I'm just holding down an E minor chord. And we're going to be adding some melody line notes in between this alternating bass line. So the melody just goes in between You can hear that bass line going back and forth throughout the whole thing. And then the melody notes will be coming in with our uh, pointer and middle fingers mostly. So here's the C major chord that we switch to in a second. You can hear bass line. Bass line is going back and forth, but over different strings. So that's the idea throughout this arrangement. Kind of tricky if you're not used to this, but really cool style, really rewarding once you get this down. So uh, anyways, let's play through this first line of the tablature so you can hear it, and then I'll break it down for you. All right, let's check out the first measure. In the first measure here, we're holding down an E minor chord. But also, we are going to put our pinky down on that high E string, third fret. So really the main chord at the beginning of this measure one is that right there. So holding down the E minor chord for entire measure one. We're just moving our pinky back and forth here and there to pick up the melody line. So I'll show you this here. Um, we start measure one with thumb pick on the low E string. Then we'll do two notes together. And those two together, we've got our thumb and our middle finger, just like that. So thumb together. And next, our fretting hand will move our pinky to the second string. So second string, third fret. You see we're doing a real small bend next with the pinky there. Bend, open. But keep in mind that as we do that bend, we're also going to thumb pick the bass note at the same time. So together with the bend. And then open high E. So that's the first part of that first measure. And then just a couple more notes to finish up measure one. Thumb pointer finger plucking it. You notice that very last note in measure one. Uh, third fret, third string, right there. Um, we moved our pinky to pick that up. So throughout measure one, we're starting our pinky on the first string, 
going down the second string and then finish it up on the third string. That makes sense. So that's measure one. Pause video if you wanna work on that. Now moving on to measure two. In measure two, we're gonna hold down the E minor chord at the beginning of it. And uh, measure two is all eighth notes. So let's take a listen to measure two. With our uh, picking and plucking hand, we're going to do thumb, middle, thumb, middle, thumb, middle. So thumb, middle, thumb, middle, thumb, middle. Right at the beginning there. Thumb, middle, thumb, middle, thumb, middle, thumb, pointer. We got a thumb pointer at the end of measure two. You probably notice that we're holding down the E minor chord at the beginning of measure two. But then we'll lift up the E minor chord about halfway through to finish up the rest. So I put my middle finger down um, right at the end of measure two, put my middle finger down on that second fret, fifth string. All right, let's play measures one and two together. It really makes the most sense that way. Thing that sounds cool. Okay, pause the video if you want to work on measures one and two. There's a lot going on there if you're new to this. Now we're going to go on to measures three and four. If you're ready, let's take a listen here. We're switching to a C major chord, measures three and four. So measure three, right at the beginning of it, we're holding the C major chord, and we've got a thumb pick on the fifth string. Right after that thumb pick, we've got a triplet. So, thumb, triplet. And to play that triplet right there, all you gotta do is just lift up your middle finger, your fretting hand, and then hammer back down into the C chord. So open hammer, pluck, triple it, triple it. So that's the beginning of measure three. Pick, triple it, pick, triple it. You notice that triplet, we're starting the triplet out with our thumb pick as well because we're keeping that bass line going, moving back and forth over the C chord. and that melody in between. All right, so beginning of measure three, we got that down. Pick, triple it, and then finish up measure three with this part. Not too bad, actually. It's just four eighth notes right at the end of measure three. Uh, all you gotta do with your fretting hand different is put your pinky down on the high E string right there in the third fret. And you see we're doing a slight bend just a little bend, you don't have to bend it much. Oops. Kind of like that. It's a little hard to do, nice and slow, but once you get it up to speed, uh, the entire measure, measure three, will sound like this. Just like that. You can repeat that over and over if you want to get practice.
So that's measure three. Pause if you want to work on that. Then measure four. Uh, measure four is very similar to measure three, especially in the beginning of it. So let's listen to measure four here. Uh, you see there, um, right at the beginning of measure four, we got that pick triple it. So you already know that part. Pick triple it. Then we do the pick pluck right there, right after it. Not too bad there. But then right at the end, we just do a down up strum. And the, that down strum is over the chord that you're holding down in the up strum. Just lift up the chord and we're gonna do the up strum over the open string. It's kind of a dirty little scrape, a uh, real dirty sounding scrape to help us transition to the next line. You'll see how it works here uh, in one second once we get to it. But uh, anyways, let's play measures three and four together so you can hear those. Now let's play the entire line, measures one through four. All right, moving on to the next line. And uh, by the way, we're going to repeat a lot of the same type of melody going forward. So we're not going to have to break it down too much because we're going to repeat a lot of what we just learned. So let's check out the next line. We've got measures five through eight. It goes like this. You should recognize most of this. The only difference really is in measure eight. But let's check this out. Measures five through eight. See, we already know measures five, six, and seven. Then here we are in measure eight. So measure eight, we're gonna, we're gonna finish that melody up with a slightly different thing over the C chord. Just like that. So measure eight, uh, basically just hold the C chord down and we'll do the thumb pick on the fifth string to start it. So pick, and then we're gonna hammer, pluck. We're doing a quick hammer right after there. Hammer, pluck. Now to do that, hold the C chord, lift up the middle finger of your fretting hand, and we're gonna hammer into the third string second fret. So third string hammer. And by the way, I'm plucking um, the third and second strings together when I do that hammer on. So hammer, pluck, and then pluck them together with the middle finger lifted up. So just like that. Pick. That's the beginning of measure eight. Not too bad. Sounds real nice though. And then we got a triplet. A triplet there, we're just hammering down into the C chord this time. Triplet, hammer, pluck, pluck those two notes together, pointer middle, triple, so measure eight. Triplet. Right at the end of measure eight, we're just doing a pick up strum over the open strings. It's one of those dirty sounding up strums to help us transition to the next line. Up into the E minor here in one second. So we get to that next line. So uh, anyways, let's play through this line one more time. Measures five through eight. One, two, three, four. All 
right, moving on to the next line, we got measures 9 through 13. 